Applying decals and surface patterning to rounded forms can seem like a daunting challenge. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the warp feature of Photoshop to make the process much less time consuming and more repeatable. For my example, I'll apply this checkerboard design to the shoulder pad of my orc. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint store. Now as a side note, this is some fan art for a game called Blood Bowl, and the copyright is held by Games Workshop. It's a great game, by the way. So the general idea of this technique is to think about the decal as one of the last steps of your illustration. You'll begin by rendering the form as a solid material. It'll make it easier to paint. And then once you're happy with the way it looks, you'll paint your decal on a separate document, or at least on its own layer within your document. So I've gone ahead and created this checkerboard here. So you can see it's on its own layer, and it's a very simple thing. So my first step is to get it roughly in place, and then to make a rectangular selection with a little breathing room, and hit Control T to open the free transform menu. And now once I'm here, I'll right click and get the warp command out. And the warp tool gives me a nine panel grid, which is also called a lattice, and this is made up of control points. Now these points might look familiar to you if you've ever used the pen tool. So you can move these points around and it'll deform the shape held within the lattice. So I'm trying to match the form of the shoulder pad by moving these points around. And when you're happy with it, hit enter to confirm and then deselect. And now I'll free transform just to get it in the right spot. And then to integrate it into my illustration, I'll drop the opacity a little bit. And I'll use a soft eraser to erase away where it's in shadow. So what you see there was a pretty simple example because a grid is not all that hard to draw in perspective. But think if I had a really detailed tattoo or some sort of an interesting pattern that I wanted to put on his shoulder. It'd be much easier to make it first as a 2D graphic and then use the warp tool to deform it into place. 